Hi everybody, you're watching Aquaparel TV. My name is Lacey. I've been doing training with our nurse sharks here for several years now. We've worked really hard and now we are able to offer some of the shark program. It's a really amazing opportunity to come and have a hands-on encounter with these sharks. Now the training started when they first arrived here at Theater of the Sea about four years ago. Slowly we were able to figure out a training plan that allowed us to be able to get hands-on with them. Now at this point, through the training that we have done with these sharks, we were able to have people come into the water with them. They were able to sit down on a bench where the sharks will actually lay on their laps with them. They can hold them, they can cradle them, they can pet them. They can even rub their bellies because we actually trained these sharks how to roll over and allow us to see their underside and to pet their bellies. So a very common question that we get here is, why have a Swim of the Shark program? Well, there's a lot of different reasons why we wanted to offer this program. The main reason is because we wanted to allow people to experience how amazing sharks actually are and to understand that they don't have anything to be afraid of. Sharks are very undeserving of their bad reputation that they have. Being able to get people into the water with these sharks and have a hands-on encounter with them, we're able to change a lot of people's minds. We're able to sell all kinds of conservation on these sharks, and we're able to tell people just how important they are to the ecosystem and that they need to be protected and not persecuted. So why is it important that people change their perspective on sharks? There are several reasons why it's so important, but first and foremost is because sharks need to be conserved. Right now they are facing all kinds of problems. There's problems with sharks being killed for shark's fin soup. They are being killed in indiscriminate fishing techniques like long lining and drift nets. Now sharks mature late in life and they reproduce very few offspring. They are also extremely important to the ecosystem in the ocean. Typically sharks feed on sick and injured sea creatures which allow them to conserve their energy. Now when these sharks are being killed off faster than they're able to replenish their numbers, we're going to see a lot of problems come with this because they're not going to be able to perform their job that is extremely necessary for the ecosystem to keep things nice and balanced in the ocean. So the biggest thing that I learned from being with these sharks, training them and offering this program that I never expected to come to realize is that all of these animals have very unique and individualized personalities and characteristics. I have five sharks that I primarily work with. A lot of people wonder how it is that we're able to tell them apart from each other. There's all kinds of different ways. Their sizes, their coloration, their sex, um, different markings on them. But a big thing that I'm able to realize from them now all is I can tell who's who based off of the way that they act. They all have their own personalities, they all do really funny little goofy things, and they all have a lot of variation in these personalities. So that's a really neat thing to be able to see firsthand because I would have never expected to see such a big difference between individuals when it comes to sharks and stingrays and even fish.